We're doing it live. What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skunjui here with just a quick video to discuss what's happening in Blitz right now. So, this is a 357k team in a three fighting up against a team that is 491k, almost 500k. This is a roughly 150k, 140k punch up. I'm getting 70,000 points for this fight. I'm getting about 30% less than I used to. The way it used to work, just to show you guys, is the used to take the entire power of the team, divide it by five, and that was roughly the number of points. So previously in Blitz, I used to get about 100,000 points, give or take, for this fight. I'm now getting less points for this fight. Okay, that's fine, because everybody is getting less points for this fight. It should balance out, right? Wrong. Because what we have here is a quick little graphic that shows you what my, this exact team got in 7-3. So in 7-3, this team fight was worth 63,000 points, so only 7,000 less total points. There it is, see? 7,000 less points, and this team is only 70k stronger than me. So, let's look at what the difference is. I could take this team into 8-3, go into this fight, make about 30,000 less points than I did previously, which is fine, because everyone is, but do a 140k punch-up to do so, to earn 70k, or in 7-3, I could do a significantly smaller punch-up and only lose 7,000 points. Will that kind of thing matter in the long run? Of course it will, if you're only using a handful of teams. If you've been following my Blitz system, you understand the difference between an S team and an A team. An S team is a team that can win in 8-3 without any question. An A team is a team that can win in 8-0, 8-1, and 8-2. Conversely, an A team can also win in 7-3. So guess what? Because of the change to the Blitz, it is more efficient now for you to run through all of your S and A teams in 7-3 and use your worst teams to reset your multiplier than it is to ever touch 8-3 in this game mode. Literally never worth it. The points you get and the more teams you're going to win with in 7-3 makes it so that fighting in 8-3 is actually going to hurt you, especially because now you can only blitz eight times a day. So while they may have been able to destroy the botting, you're going to be so far ahead of the curve if you follow my system, but instead of resetting to 8-0, just keep resetting down to 7-0. Or do what I'm going to do, which is fight up to 8-3, take your garbage like Hydra or, or minions or your Merc minions, whoever you have that you're not using, lose twice, and repeat the process. You will get more points overall for easier fights that aren't going to make it difficult. You win with more teams, you get more points, period. Doesn't matter anymore about winning in 8-3. So that's basically where we're at right now with the changes to Blitz. Uh, and I can do a couple of Blitz battles to show you. So here, right here, we're going to go back. We're going to pick... Uh, I'll use I'll use cores. I have plenty. We'll use this team right here, okay? So we're going to take this team and we're gonna fight up against no no sure we'll fight these guys so this is 70k points my team is 357k this is about a uh, 130 120k punch up let's see what happens Boop, boop, boop. Sorry. It's taking a while. Okay. So. Fight went relatively quickly guys 
I'm just floating, apparently. Hold on. Oop, let's fix that a little bit. Sorry. So, fight went relatively the same way you'd imagine it goes under normal circumstances. No problem, right? I won this fight. Now, let's uh, go here. Let's lose twice. Okay, so now I'm back in seven. Now I'm gonna win my way back up to eight, to uh, a three. And we're gonna track something. So let's use this team right here. Let's see. One, two, three. We'll use this team right here. Seven, zero, seven, zero, 51K. We're gonna see what eight, zero is. So just keep, keep this in mind as we go on. Fun. I mean, technically, I could just be autoing this. That's... More of these guys can just auto, right? So if your teams are able to win in eight, they're clearly able to win in seven. The fights that you're going up against are less uh, pumped. It's, it's less of a punch up. So it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Let's, uh, yeah, whatever. Black Order will win whatever fight I take it in. Seven dot two fight. So now we're in seven three. So this is how many points less than the previous fight? Less than 6,000? Okay. This fight is clearly easier. Let's just go in. Let's see what happens. Just clicking auto. Maybe I'll pick targets. So I'm getting 7,000, 6,000, 5,000 less points than the fight I got in 8-3, right? Uh, and it doesn't appear as if I'm having any issues at all with this team. Now, my roster is very well balanced. I have more teams and more characters overall, about over 250 to 300k than the average player will. But the numbers don't lie. You will get more points in Blitz by not leaving 7-3, then you will any other way. That's it. Like, there's no, you can't, like, the math isn't wrong. I'm winning with more teams, more reliably, than people who are just running through the top fights. The fights are easier down here, so I can click auto and giggle as I win through it. And while I may not be getting the missing 4,000 points every time. And then again, here, let's go back one, two, three, four to this team. So eight, one and eight, two are also fights that I would consider doing. It should be no problem. So I'll win up to eight, three. So my recommendation, if you want to succeed in blitz relatively well, just because it's the most efficient way you can spend your time as opposed to just banging your head against the wall would be to Win your way up to A3, lose twice, repeat process. If you don't have the width of roster to be able to do that, if you don't have a lot of characters, then you're probably not doing too well 
in general inputs. You're probably not pushing that high up. So that's something you maybe want to do when you have about 100 characters. But everybody has characters they don't work on. Everyone has non-teams. And those are the characters that are going to drop you down. So that's the most efficient way to blitz right now. That's going to get you the most points the quickest possible way you can because in the time it takes you to load and auto lose those fights, you're also autoing the rest of the fights. You just overall get less value out of fighting in 8-3 right now than you did before and you're getting less value comparatively than you used to. You used to be able to get more value out of winning fights in 8-3 because it was the hardest fight. The percentage drop that they've created between 7-3 and 8-3 is not commensurate with the difficulty of the fight. Therefore, it's not even worth it to do. Hopefully, this was helpful. Uh, comment below. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangilli, and I'll catch you later.